Hello, welcome back to Georgie B's Cards and Stuff. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This card is of a hummingbird attacking some flowers. And this comes from the stamp set Touch of Ink. I was given this by Gaynor for my birthday. So I'm making a few cards with it as you will see over this week and next week. To make this card, the cardstock I used was a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored up four and one eighth, folded in half obviously. Piece of basic black at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, and a piece of white at five and a half by three and three quarters. And there is the piece in the middle at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, which we I stamped a couple of the little flowers on it. So we want some moss. I have got my flower and my hummingbird because we don't want to be stamping over everything, and I need some scrap paper. This will do. Right, we'll do the hummingbird first. So with my Memento Black ink, we will ink up the hummingbird. It's easier doing it this way. And we will stamp him near the top left hand corner. Brush nice and hard so we get a good image. Like that. And then we will put a mask on him. I didn't worry about his um, beak. Now then, for the flowers, what we're going to do is put one just below him. And then we'll mask that off. And all I've done is just mask the flowers. Nothing else. And then we ink it up again. And we take off the ink from the stems. Because we don't want them. And we place that so that his beak is inside the middle flower. Oh, I think I've taken off too much ink. That's it. Oh, I can't see because of the light. All right. And that down like that. All right, and put that back on, and then put a mask on that one. And then we get the leaves and we ink up just the top half of the leaves. And we place them at 
over there like that over the top half of the flower top flower and that is our picture picture image With my Versafine and my Best Wishes stamp, I'm going to stamp Best Wishes just down there, like that. I don't know if you can see, but I've got a black spot there, and it's ink. So I'm just going to see if I can erase it. Right, now we're going to colour these in. First of all we're going to colour the flowers and they're all going to be done in Flirty Flamingo. Do nothing special with these, just colour them in. I wasn't even worried that if they went up to the line, I just, as the stamp says, says a touch of ink. It's a good idea to let the ink dry before you um, colour it in. Oops, that's green. Don't want it looking too messy. Alright, there's our petals right now for the inside. We'll just put a touch of yellow, Daffodil Delight. For the leaves, we're using Old Olive.
concentrating here. I'm not speaking. There is um, a stamp in this that you can fill it in, in colour, but it tends to go outside the lines and we'll be having so many colours close together they would distort the colours, so that is why I've done it this way. Right, we have got wrong one. This is Seaside Spray. Light Night and Navy. Uh, dark balm blue. Right, we don't want either of them. So, light. I want light misty moonlight. Couldn't get the lid off then. Where's my card on here? So what I'm doing with this is just coming down the tips Same on the feather's tail. And then with dark seaside spray. Blend that in a bit. Blend that in like that, and then with light seaside spray, I'm going to colour. Oh, I want to do dark seaside spray over its head. Feathers. going to give him a yellow belly. This is Dark Daffodil Delight. Like that. And that is our bird coloured in. In fact that's our, oh I know what we haven't done. We haven't done the inside of the card. So we've got our flower stamp which is here and our memento ink. And we only want to ink up the top flower and just place that in the corner there and do the same at the top. and just colour that in.
supposed to add it. the inside yellows in the middle. There we are. That's our insides done. And look. Put this card together. So, put the inside bit in first. <coughs> this will go in now anyway, so. Ah, oh, I've got a funny feeling I have. I have. I knew I'd done that. So, let's chop this down a bit, shall we? I had put the paint, the inside, which should have been the top one, on the inside of my card instead of using this one. making mistakes me right I'll place that on And we'll put this on the front of the card. That was an easy mistake to rectify. Now what I did forget is the dots. So I have got Um, Rococo Rose and all I did was just do some dots like this around the flower and some Highland Heather dots as well. Got some pollen. There is splatter dots in this stump set. I'm sure there is. There is. There we are. That is our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more cards I upload, which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.